It's the Bloomin' Skin Show, everybody. Hi, welcome on in. My name is Allison Wagner, and I am with you every other week during the Bloomin' Skin Show. And what we love to do is create this really cool interactive show where we can share products, share people, share ideas that we believe in at Beekman 1802. And everything that we're going to be doing in the show is really cool today. It's going to be the Super Dad Bods Edition. Say that 10 times fast. Super Dad Bods Edition. Dad Bods Edition. So it's all about the men in your life. Um, but ladies, we're all included too. But guys out there, we hear you. You want to hear from us. So we're going to introduce you to some of the great Beak men behind the Beekman team. Um, we're going to show you lots of tips and lots of tricks. Um, Brad Farrell is going to be joining us. I know we're going to talk to him in a minute, but he has some cool rules that he's going to put in place for all of us. Um, so let's go ahead and get the show started. Uh, I get to introduce Ms. Corinne Hall. Corinne is one of our product experts. She looks so cute in a dress and she has the best shoe collection. And if anybody, <laughs> hands down, um, if you want to show your shoes at some point tonight, I think that's appropriate. Okay, um, we can make that happen. But it's easy to show what we're going to I say. have something for you. Oh, no. A few neighbors told me to please get that woman a glass of wine. Oh, I love After this. the last show. Cheers. Cheers. And these are Artist Edition Bobby Sharp glasses. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're supposed to be for whiskey. They're whiskey but glasses, but we're cheating a little. But they're I think a you good can drink gift. wine out of it. They're a good gift for dad, wouldn't you say? Good age, good year. This is going to be a good show, I think. It's going to be a good show. Um, we're off to a good start. So everything that we talk about in the show, whether it be some of the artisan items, um, like the towel, the goatee, the soap, anything that you see on the set, um, is going to be for sale in the live scale. Um, and it's all, everything is free shipping in the show. And that's going to be really big in about a minute from now when we start to dive into it. But what I really love is this format. You yeah. never leave, need to leave the show, right? No, it's super easy to shop. And I'll show you guys how. Come with me on my computer. So all you have to do is find the item that you want below in the live scale. Now, I know tonight we're on Facebook and we're on YouTube too. So if you're watching us from Facebook or if you're That's watching us so from cool. YouTube, you can go ahead and click the link or go to Beekman1802.com to shop and you'll be taken to the screen. So all you do is find the item that you want. I think I'm going to get the Super Bloom special and you can go to add to bag if you want to keep shopping or buy now. Once you click buy now, you just put in your shipping information and then you click continue and look all the while, you never have to leave the screen. You're always here with us in the live scale. It's super easy. You get to see the show. Then as that's loading, it's going to take you to an order review. And this is my favorite part. The shipping is free for the free. entire show. Look at all the hearts that you're getting. Uh, Aren't you 1,400 you. hearts? Oh, they, well, that's because everybody likes to shop. So they like this part because this is where I show them how to shop. And so we can also easy. see all of your questions. So I can see Corinne and Anderson and Janet and Genevieve and Laura. Oh, I love this because I can see what you all are saying. So be nice to us. Um, I want to get into this because everything that you're going to see in this hour is at a special price or a one-time opportunity. So let's dive into the products because you have to shop during the show. You have to click check out during the show because I know I got some emails last week of like, I missed the show, I can't get the item. It's only good for while the show is on and that goes for the free shipping too. Let's go into it. Super Bloom special. Okay. For those of you that are watching today, I wanna let you know this is the Super Dad Body Care Set. It is $29, not only for the box set of the wipes, the pure body cream, the stick of deodorant, the pure bar of soap, but you are getting the full size drop kit included. That's free, that's not even in the set. That's not even a value that you see on the screen. We're just giving it to you for free. I need to be clear though, there's only about 700 of those to oh. go around. There's no more, okay. The shave kit, oh, I'm so excited about this. You not only get the shave setup, the shave bar, the shaving brush, you're gonna get the Dave's Forth, the only place in the entire company that we have the Dave's Forth bar of nine ounce bar of soap, and that is 51% off. When that set is gone, I don't know that it will ever be reproduced as that set. And then neighbors, I hear you, and we did it, we pulled it off, you asked for that shave bar duo and here it is. So you can use it with the set or without and it smells so sexy. It's days forth and I love it. It's 25% off, 
free shipping on everything tonight, which is huge. And then if you're shopping and saying, you know what, I got to tell you about something. I haven't talked about it with anybody else. Well, watch this because this next item that's going to be coming up, the shampoo bar, this is one of those items that sells out for us all the time. We never get to talk about it because it's always sold out, but it's an easy way to shampoo your hair with a bar of soap. Look at this. You get three of these for $20. That wasn't the original oh price. Do you remember we were on the phone and we were like, <laughs> we have to make it $20. That all goes uh, away at the end of the show with free shipping. So for $20, like if Hot Jack, who's my other half, is watching tonight, that's a year of shampoo Oh my for goodness. Him. Then also activated charcoal facial scrub. So important to exfoliate. We wanted to include it in the show, but here's the deal. I'm getting the updates that you guys are already ordering online. There's 200 of these left, and when they're gone, they will be gone from this show. Okay, are we good? Are we good there? Can we? Oh no, I have. Oh, I have one more thing. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> they always sneak the good ones in. Are you ready? Oh, this is my God. a buy one get one free of the deodorant. Our number one top selling deodorant. These are, these are normally $18 a piece. Buy one, get one. If you have someone stinky, if you stink, if you don't want to stink, if <laughs> you just want to switch to a natural deodorant, if you want to give your husband that gift because he stinks, but you don't want to tell him he stinks. Yeah, that's right? like a great tip. I don't know. Just like, let's make the world a better place in 2022 and 2021. We are going to be, hopefully, everything will go good and we'll all be getting a lot closer in 2021. It's going to be cuddles and hugging. We need to smell good. All right, listen, there's a couple other things that I want to talk about really, really quickly. And one of them is the opportunity for you guys to get married at the Beekman. And you're going to get to meet Brad in just a minute, but he's one of our official officiators. Um, and he's going to have a big robe, apparently. Um, I will also be marrying people at the event. But it's we um, set up a beautiful chapel on the hill at the Beekman Farm. And you can sign up through our events to go ahead and show us and show up for these amazing weddings. But there's Brad, and you'll get to meet him in a second. It's June 26th and 27th. And all of these weddings are going to be at the Beekman Farm. There's lots of gifts that they're going to be getting Ooh. us couples. I know Jay Wines is going to be giving some great um, items. So we'll talk all about that. You can find it under the events page at Beekman1802.com. Also, I want to talk about, can we do the pride kit really quickly? Okay. Corinne, do you want to hold this up for me? Oh, yeah. Okay. So last week, we got a chance to introduce our pride kit. And because June being pride month, a lot of you asked a lot of questions. This is the only pride kit that Beekman will be doing. You get the milk drops, the milk wash, the milk foam. You get the eye dewy eyed. You get little goatee pin. A lot of people are asking where they can get our pins. So you get the goatee pin and you're also going to get the great travel bag. But at Beacon, you know we don't do anything halfway. So we are donating 100% of the profits from this kit to the Ali Forney Foundation. And a lot of people have said, what is that foundation? That foundation is um, really, a, it's a center that is on a mission to protect the LGBTQ plus community. But this is really geared toward youth. And I want you to look at this. They assist over 2,000 youth per year in a 24 hour drop in center. 70,000 meals are provided every single year. Um, medical, mental health services are provided, and we are donating 100% of the profits. And, you know, people always say to me, Corinne, how do I help? You know, how mm -hmm. do I make a voice? I don't know how to get involved. This is a big way for you to do it. There's 500 of those sets left. We forecasted for those sets to last for the entire year or for the entire month. Clearly, that's not going to happen, but I wanted to get it in the show to um, get it a heads up. Now, okay. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this wasn't supposed to be till the end, but we did it. Um, I don't know how we did it. We just kind of put it out here and everyone just went along with it. But um, this is the candles, Corinne. Ooh. These are the pride candles. They are not, but you had the first chance to order them. Okay, so here's what we did. We took 250 sets of the six candles and they have amazing scents like Meyer lemon. We'll talk about all the different scents, um, but or the set of 11. So you get the set of six or the set of 11, which is all of them. 
Oh my gosh. But there's only 250 of each. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If you're watching right now, these, they're not going to go online until 623. I think I they ship 623. So, but if you want to reserve yours now, yeah. all right, I'm already getting told. These are so limited. So if you want <laughs> them, you're getting that VIP sort of entry, you know, an opportunity to mm -hmm. grab these. So if you want them, here they are, get them. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get the show started. Beekman 1802 is all about amazing skincare. Not only skincare, but beauty care. And we believe that there really is beauty in kindness. And what does that mean? It means two guys found themselves on a farm in upstate New York. There's Dr. Brent Ridge and Josh Kilmer Purcell. And they had goats and they said, what can we do? Goat milk has the same pH as your own skin. But as a physician, Dr. Brent wanted to go further. He wanted to go and say, listen, how do we take care of people's skin in a better way? And here's how you do it. You take a goat milk, you take probiotics, you really put science behind everything that we're doing. And after 15 million bars of soap later, we've developed skincare that helps you have more resilient, more hydrated, more beautiful skin and also spreading the word of kindness, this ripple effect that everybody can be affected. Oh, look, there's Shasta. There's Josh Kimmer Purcell, and there's Dr. Brett Ridge as well. Um, but I get to introduce someone really special right after I introduce this kid. He's standing right next to me. I'm really excited because he's so cool. I can't wait for you to meet him. Okay, but we're gonna start to show off with the Super Bloom Special. Are you ready? This is big, you guys, and if you don't have a chance, if you haven't seen it, if you missed the beginning of the show, this is big. We are doing the Super Bloom special, and it, can I just dive into what's in it, or where should I go? Am I good? Can I dive into it? Okay. You are getting a, wait, can, you want me to hold it up? Okay. This is the Super Bloom special. It is a full size of the wipes. It's a full size of the deodorant, a full size of the whipped body cream. It's a full size of, did I do the wipes already? I'm going backwards. And then a full size of the bar of soap. Nobody told me I was gonna have to do this trick tonight. So, <laughs> nobody told me that I had to be Vanna and the person giving all the information. But then also, wait, I'm not done, stay there. You're gonna get the free job kit. Look at that, you get the free kit. It is all of this, why are you laughing? <laughs> You're supposed to be my serious counterpart here. Okay, you get the job kit and you get this. I have 700 of these now to go around. When they're gone, they're gone. We did this especially for the Bloom Show and everything is free shipping. Here's who I wanna introduce though, Brad Farrell is standing next to me. Um, Brad is, See how tall and handsome and wonderful he is? I know, look at look at the smile. How can you just not love this smile? Oh, you're too kind to me. I'm not. So yay, yay, Brad is here. Okay. Thank you. Brad Farrell is our CMO. If those don't mean anything to you, he is our chief marketing officer. But not only that, here's the brilliance. Brad has worked on huge campaigns um, and for huge beauty companies, L'Oreal, Keys, Pureology. And he brings an aspect to the Beekman team that is so unique and so different and so valued. And we're so glad that you're here for Super Dad Bods. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited to Do you be have here. a Super Dad Bod? Uh, I mean, after COVID the past year, I do have kind of a Dad Bod, but yes. <laughs> we're glad you're here. <laughs> I'm so excited um, to be here with you. And you're here during the Super, Super Bloom special. I mean, it's an amazing special. There's some of my favorite products that are in here. All right, well, let's dive into this. Um, because right off the bat, men's skin is yeah. so different than women's skin. Yeah. I don't think I even realize, I mean, because I'm a girl, mm -hmm. how different guys' skin is. Yeah, it's true. It's different in a few different ways. Um, really, the first one is that it's really oilier than women's skin. So as a result, we have more sebaceous glands, we're more likely to get acne. I mean, you think about back in high school, right? Like the people who had acne was like that guy from high school. It wasn't just, right. a lot of the girls didn't have it. And it's true. Because guys actually have 20% oil, more oil production in their skin than women, which, which results in you know, more oiliness. That's why they always want to deeply cleanse their skin. Uh, another way is aging. Actually, men's skin ages faster than women's skin. The collagen production rapidly declines at a faster rate than women's skin. Well, until women hit menopause, and then they kind of have a, a little cliff they jump off, and then they catch up to men. 
And that's kind of scary. Did you say we jump off a cliff at <laughs> menopause? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love men so much. We just do. We, we jumped off a cliff. Yes. You age first. Your skin we jump jumps off, off a cliff. cliff. Yeah. No, you know your skin does. You know. <laughs> Don't you love that? But that. But see, that knowledge allows us to better yeah. work with our skin. So exactly. let's start with a bar of soap. Yeah. I mean, the bar of soap, the classic. Every guy loves a bar of soap, and this one at Beekman, I mean, it's the best. Okay. Why is it different? Uh, well, the first one is the goat milk. So goat milk is a key ingredient in the bar soap. And a lot of those bar soaps that you might use, you know, they give you a nice lather, but they leave your skin super dry after. And the goat milk in here has the same pH as your skin. So it's guy's skin, women's skin. Uh, so it truly absorbs and your skin just drinks it in. So it doesn't just sit on the surface and leave some sort of crusty film or something. It drinks it right in and it leaves your skin super hydrated. Yeah, and I think this is one of the biggest changes that we can make for people without any changes. Like, you think about a diet, you're like, I'll mm. start tomorrow, or and then it just always disappoints, right? Right. This is changing a bar of soap that's gonna change your skin. Mm -hmm. I want you to see some of the great reviews that people are talking about, because maybe you've never thought that a bar of skin can be a game changer for you. It absolutely can. Look at this, do you wanna read one? Yeah. Which one do you wanna read? I want to read number two. Ronald. Oh, you Ronald. picked a super dad bod yeah, if he's watching bod. Ronald. <laughs> Ronald says, this is my favorite bath and, bower, bath and shower soap. It does not leave my skin dry and I feel clean all day. Think about that, especially when you're hot and sweaty and yeah. sticky. You want to wash and you want to feel clean, but you want to feel hydrated. Exactly. I, okay, the bottom one is big for me because I have psoriasis, right? Mm. So I got this for my son and I find it helpful in managing uh, psoriasis. That's from Elaine. So think about this, ladies. If you're buying this for your husband, your son, your uncle, your dad, your brother, changing one thing in their mm. arsenal can be so different. And I know yeah. Corinne is going to try to outshine us all right now. <laughs> Look at her over there. Now, wait a minute. How long have you been sudsing, Miss Corinne? Honestly, I gave myself a little more time because I didn't, I was like, oh, I've never done this before. This is my first time. I don't know the technique. But now I'm kind of making a mess with all this amazing suds. But while we're over here, I want to introduce Sean Eaton, our amazing model for the night. Sean is our photographer at Beacon 1802, and he's also a self proclaimed skincare junkie. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> So yeah, you can see these amazing, this is kind of like chief milk maiden like training. Like if you're going to be a milk maiden, you have to have yeah. the suds. Yeah. So not as sudsy as maybe Josh, but I think I'm getting there. You're getting but, there. But I mean, look at this amazing lather. Like it's so creamy. There's so much. And the bar of soap is still here. So this sure, was yeah. just with a little bit on the loofah. You can make this amazing creamy lather. It feels so good on the skin. Who's the handsome guy next to you? Mr. Sean Eaton. He's a beak man. He oh, look at man. that. Oh, cheesy Sean. I know. Sean is not only one of the photographers behind the scenes that um, takes a lot of the amazing pictures and photographs. No, amazing. <laughs> um, but being a classically trained chef myself, I love it that he is a complete foodie. Look at he's getting I am red. A complete foodie. You're getting red. You are an amazing foodie, and I think you should really work on some recipes because I saw you do a sea bass the other day. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that did look so I good. I was super impressed. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. I have a thing in the works. How does it feel to work behind the scenes at Beacon? I love working behind the scenes. It's so exciting to see you know something come to life and then see it, you know, in print or on an ad somewhere. It's great. Yeah, Sean has taken some photos of me too. It's always fun to work together, and I'm happy we can be oh, on this side of the camera really together good now. Too. He makes us look really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's easy with those two. <laughs> Aww. Okay, now, so we yeah. talked about the bar of soap. Number one, by the way, number one top seller in all of the Beekman line is yeah. the bar of soap. And great for any guys with sensitive skin, by the way. Okay, you know what? I, you know what I'm doing right here? I'm looking at everything selling out. Oh my gosh. If you want to do the Super Bloom special right now, you get the free Dove kit, you get a full size of the bar, you get a full size of the deodorant, you get a full size of the pure wipes. What else did I miss? Oh, you get the whipped body cream and you get the Dove kit. By the way, break it up, keep it, do whatever you want to do. Let me just tell you at $29, um, my name is Allison. I, this is Brad, and this is amazing. So, Allison, Brad, amazing. Um, I want to talk about deodorant. Yep. Why are guys so stinky? I mean, Why? guys are stinky. Well, it's, there's actually some biology behind that. Guys do sweat a lot more than women. So, 
uh, you know, back, I think this deodorant, which makes it so amazing, is that, you know, back in the day, we used to use these old-fashioned deodorants that had aluminum and baking soda that would stop your underarm from sweating. But that's not actually good. We're, as humans, we actually need to sweat to get rid of the toxins in our body. Uh, so using, you know, formulas with those ingredients is actually not healthy. But the good thing about those is that they do actually stop you from stinking and sweating. Right. So to create a natural deodorant that doesn't have baking soda, that doesn't have aluminum, but that actually stops you from sweating and doesn't make you smell stinky, was really hard to do. We didn't want to actually right. release this one until we cracked that, but I believe that we have. You have, and yeah. let me just say this. Um, two ways to get the deodorant tonight. A lot of you are picking up the kit with the free DOP kit, the Super Bloom special. We do have the buy one, get one free as well. We've never done a buy one, get one free, by the way on the deodorant because this is so hard to keep in stock. So you can order either way tonight. I do wanna, I do wanna say this because um, this is something I don't get to talk about a lot mm -hmm. on air because just we don't have time. But I want you to think about, you know, 2021, we learned a lot about our health. Yeah. We learned a lot about how to take better care of ourselves, And that's why I say changing out of bar of soap can be great. But I want you today to think about changing your deodorant to a natural deodorant. Not because you think it's on trend or not because you think it's, you know, cool and hip. Because it, number one, it works. Beekman has created this formula that is super effective. But I'm going to speak for women and then you can talk about guys. Yeah. All of our lymph nodes are here. We have special things here. Is that right? Can I say that? Sure. I, mean, I can say special things. Lymph nodes. Why would you want to put aluminum and all kinds of crazy chemicals that actually seep into your pores? Absolutely. So let's do something better for ourselves. I told Brad before, I mean, this is going to be the year that we hug people, mm -hmm. we snuggle with people. And I think especially for guys too, there's always that barrier. Like, I don't know enough about a natural deodorant to yeah. make a change. Yeah, I mean, it's scary. I, I had to, I've tried many and it's, you know, sometimes you put them on and then you're out later that night and you're like, oh my God, I actually stink right now. Right. So it's risky, but you know, we've really tested this one. Farm chore tested, we put, you know, did a lot of research on yeah. these ingredients. And the other great thing about it is it goes on so invisible. Nice. So yeah. there's no like gross, like guys, you know, we have hair under our arms. So like, like the white ones get chalky do and disgusting. Do you want to put it on under your arm? No, not right now. Can no. you do it? Um, I, can I do might it. lose my microphone if I try it. Oh, that. you can but you do it and tell me about it. I did. Oh, don't, you're telling me not <laughs> to do it? I'm doing it. I don't want to be stinky. But smell, tell me what you smell when you smell that. Did you put that under your arm? No, not okay. yet. It's citrus. Citrus. It's like I a beautiful, it. light citrus scent that guys love. Because, you know, one thing, it's like you don't want that old, old spice aroma or that, like, other, that smells no, like your grandpa's way, cologne or something. You want something light. Yeah, yeah, don't buy a smelly thing at a grocery market. Yeah. It's not a good smelly thing. Yeah, upgrade um, your deodorant game. Should we read yeah. some reviews? Yes. All right, do you want to read one? You pick one and I'll pick one. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Gregory. Gregory says, awesome, amazingly fresh, and keeps me from sweating. I'm a guy and was surprised that it has a neutral scent, and besides that, it works all day. I love that, and then look at this. Yeah. Look at it, Aaron says. Um, I have been using this deodorant for a year now, and it works for me. I go through one about five to six months. Think about that. I used to buy one every month for about $5. So with this, I'm actually saving money. You guys, it's part of the DOP kit. It's part of our Super Bloom special. And this is where, I always say this, but people will always literally write me on Facebook and say, how do I know when I'm getting a deal? And I'm like, the sets are always the big deal because mm -hmm. you're going to get the free shipping. You could try things you've never tried before. Um, I, I should get a quantity update really quickly. Do you want, do you guys want to talk about the deodorant really quickly? And yeah. then I'll give you a, an course. update. So Sean and Corinne, I put my deodorant, did you put your deodorant on? Sean, did you put your deodorant on? I put my on? deodorant on this morning. I put it on this morning. And okay. I, smell great. <laughs> I just want to so. know. I just smell great. Yeah, so like Brad and Allison said, it goes on completely clear. It feels amazing. And honestly, since I started using this, I feel like my underarms just look like better. I don't have any irritation. I don't have any darkness. That looks amazing. How does it work for you? I love it. I've tried so many different natural deodorants because I've, you know, like Brad mentioned, the aluminum, I don't want those chemicals in my body. So I've gone through trial and error over and over again with all these different types. And I finally found one that didn't leave any white streaks. It didn't stain anything. It lasted all day, and a big thing for me was the bar, like the bar inside didn't actually crumble when I used it mm -hmm. over time. It didn't deteriorate, and um, I can, you know, agree with Erwin. It lasts 
a long time. I, I've only had to replace it, I think, twice. Yeah, I think there's something like 600 swipes in here, which is amazing. And yeah. there's so much product in here. It's a great gift. You can keep one for yourself. It, it's just a really great way to get somebody to make the switch to a natural deodorant because it works and it feels amazing and it doesn't have those ingredients like baking soda or irritating ingredients that are going to cause an irritation to the skin. But I do think that it's time to play a game. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Did you? So Brad shows up, he's in charge of all things marketing, and then now we're going to play a game. So, I'm like, when did this get this fun? <laughs> okay, so, but he doesn't know the answer. So we I did it all behind his back. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. At home, you're going to help us guess the dad bods. Okay, we're going to show you some dad bods. And we're going to have to get, no, so all the Allison, dad bods. Allison, you don't know the answer either. I don't know either. the answer either. So I don't. actually, neighbors, <laughs> you are going to play along with Allison and Brad. So okay. let's see some dad bods. I don't oh. know Oh, Sean's going to play okay. too. Okay, Sean, yeah, okay, okay. All right, so show me the dad bods. Let's see the okay, dad ready. bods. Whoa! Hey, no. The game oh, is wow. called Who's the Daddy? It's so you, raining men. Hold what? on. Your oh, hint. Oh. Your only hint is that they are celebrities and they are fathers. Who picked these pictures, I by mean, the way? Yeah. Corinne, it may this have is been <laughs> me who picked the picture. I mean, that does not look like, when you say dad, Bob, this is not what office. comes to mind. Yeah. <laughs> they, asked, they asked me for some okay. suggestions. Yeah. So, so who's, the, who's the daddy? Who's your who's daddy? Who's okay. daddy? So number one, who should we, so this time we'll start with Sean. Who's number one, Sean? Number one, is? I'm going to say Adam Levine, based on the tattoos. Oh, Ooh. that's actually, a, I would not yeah. have thought, that's, yeah. Brad? I, that, that's the one I think I actually might know. I would say Aquaman, Jason Momoa. I think that's how you say it. Is that his name, Momoa? Yeah. Okay, we're not going to find out right now, right? We're going to keep, we're gonna keep, keep guessing going. and show all the answers at the end, okay? Karen so, says, nice picks. Dr. Brent says, these look just like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them is Dr. Brent. You'll have to pick out one of them. <laughs> okay, number two. Yeah. Who do you guys okay. think number two is? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. What does his underwear say? Why do men put names on their underwear? I'm going like, to go with Us there. Usher because he's pretty ripped. Usher? Yeah. What's your favorite Usher song? I don't know the words. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. That's yes! All. <laughs> I love it, Brad. Do it one more time. Oh, no. Do it one more time. Yeah. I can see that is going to oh be a God. bleep. That's going to be a real of the beat bit. Okay, Ugh. Sean, who's number two? Number two. Who's oh number two? Gosh. Who's your daddy? Who's the daddy? Sorry, Who? not your daddy. I want to see more guesses in the chat, too. Um, I'm going to say... Um, Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore? Yeah, the guy, the guy from uh, Criminal Minds. Okay. Oh, oh that's yeah. a guess. Okay. okay. Do you have a guess? I have no guess. I, I don't know anyone that looks like that, nor have I, I didn't even know that existed in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. It's I, real. I'm literally sweating over here because I like, I'm not sure. Okay, you just okay. put on deodorant. Yeah, I did just, put, I need to put it everywhere though, clearly. Um, I need to put so, on my upper lip. Okay, all right, number three. What are your guesses for number three? Does he have underwear or is he just hiding his underwear? I think there he might has, be he's in underwear. Like, Number what? He's in jeans in the ocean, just like a normal person. I mean, as you do. Um, okay, Brad, you're first on this one. Who do you I don't know. I, 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 for some reason, I'm feeling like Hugh Jackman vibes from that. I'm not sure why. Hugh Jackman? Does yeah. he have a big ta body well, tattoo? I don't know. I just feel like that looks like Hugh Jackman for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Do you think that's a real tattoo or like one of those I think it's faux real. tattoos? Yeah. Do like you have a guess, one. Sean? Um, Sean? I think it might be Orlando Bloom. Hmm. Oh, oh, that was a really good guess. Yeah. How are they guessing him. online, Miss Corinne? We have a couple guesses. So for number two, some people guess Idris Elba, and for Ooh. number three, we got Daniel Craig or Hugh Jackman. Oh, Daniel somebody Craig. guessed David Beckham in the chat. All right, number uh, four, last number daddy. Four. Who's the daddy? Who's Sean? The you go first. Daddy. Who is that? That's like someone who's twelve. That's Who like Justin be? Bieber. Right. Um. Right? That has to be Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's like a young dad. Um, or watch it be the oldest dad. Oh my. <laughs> it could be... I think he needs to pull his pants up is what he needs. A little bit. Just a smidge. Um, I mean... 
I'm gonna go with Zac Efron. No, he's not a dad. Um, Does it have to be a dad? Does it have to? They be are dads. Oh, they are dads. They yeah. are daddies. Oh. This I don't is know, an that example. Tough. He doesn't have any giveaways. Yeah. Okay. Who do Dr. Brent says I, I number think, four. I don't know. Is Josh. I think I think she's trying to throw us off a little bit. Number four is Josh. <laughs> it could <laughs> be Josh. According to Dr. Brent, it is. <laughs> again, I picked the dad. So. I'm feeling like Corinne like threw a sneaker in here and. Oh. It's Brady actually, gets I'm feeling you. like it's, it, I it's, think it's you. I think it's Brad, but it's not me. I think it's Brad Pitt, but like Ooh. vintage Brad Pitt, like Thelma Ooh. and Louise. Ooh, can I change my yeah. guess? Yeah, yeah, you can change your guess. Anderson Cooper. Ooh. Oh. Okay, okay everybody, go. get your last guesses in there, and we're going to give you the reveal. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Let's see it. Here are the answers. Um, number one is Jason. Woo! Oh, you got know. that right. So I got a lot of right answers. Oh, so you guys did not. You only got Jason Momoa right, but a lot of people in the chat. We got some people guessing Dak Shepard for four. Oh. I think I saw that. I saw some Idris Elba. I saw David Beckham. So good job, you guys. You know your daddies. Wow. I did not know all my daddies. <laughs> okay, so right that. now though, on the chat, I want you to go on because there's a poll, and you have to choose between one of those four hot dads, who your favorite hot daddy is. I'm just gonna say for it. Uh, there should be like like a fourth choice or a fifth choice. Like I just want. You can do a write-in vote if you yeah. have a. Oh, a write-in vote. If yeah. you want to write it, not on the poll, but if you would like to contribute to the chat, uh, daddy for someone's googling ple pleasure yeah. later, you may put it, your dad crush in the chat. Dr. Brent wants himself to be written in as a hot daddy. <laughs> Dr. He's Brent. A dog dad. Okay. <laughs> Where has this show gone? <laughs> Where are we going? Okay. <laughs> Here's what I want you guys to know really quickly before we go any farther. If you're on the line for the dot set, let me just show you how, I think this is really important how it comes. This is the gift box set. By the way, you are gonna see this everywhere in retail for $35, can I just tell them that? Yeah. This is gonna be everywhere in retail for $35. We're doing it for what, 29? Is that what it is? I, I think we should put that probably up somewhere on the show if we can. It's $29 with free shipping and handling. And oh, by the way, we threw in the dop kit for absolutely free. By the way, yeah, these aren't amazing. just for men. You can show that. The yeah, Arvana. it's such a beautiful texture. It's very masculine it feels like, and um, really cool it's color. It's like a faux suede, yeah. which I love because exactly. you can't make, mess it up. It's but really I love to pack with these, even though I know that they're made for like men. There it is, $29 free shipping. Now let's just like break it down. The deodorant in here is $18 by itself. The wipes in here are some crazy amount of money by themselves. Yeah, the bar soap is another huge amount of money. Do you like that I'm really precision? And this is a wad of money. And then you get the dob kit. So you're getting it. For <laughs> Did you like just the wads, the of, wads money? of money? You're saving wads of money. You're going to wake up and there's going to be money in your wallet tomorrow. Amazing. I love that. It's a great um, deal. Should we talk about wipes? Let's talk about the wipes. Yeah. Wipes are so cool. I mean, yeah. I think we forgot how great it is just in everyday life yeah. to have a wipe. Like a lot of people think of them as just a makeup wipe. They're not just a makeup wipe. Yeah. Well, I would say like rule number one for guys, the most important thing you should do is wash your face. If you're going to do one thing with your skin, wash your face. And the easiest way to do it is with our facial wipes. So tell us why they're so different. Why our wipes are so yeah. different? Well, when you try some of them like that you can get and maybe you keep it in your gym bag, A, they dry out, they're not very moist. So when you use them, you know, it's kind of like they scratch your skin a little bit. They don't get all that sweat or that sunscreen or that grime off your skin because they don't have the infusion of the goat milk that ours have. So these okay. are super moist uh, okay. and they really kind of get that dirt and grime like your sunscreen and wipe off the day. And I think they're, you know, amazing to keep just handy in your gym bag or before you're going out to dinner or something, yeah. give yourself a little freshen up. And I think this goes, you know, ladies, a lot of us know we love to keep these in the refrigerator, use them on our necks. Like mm. sometimes I just wake up in the middle of the night and I'm hot and I'm sweaty and I just wipe down and I'm good for the rest of the night. But you know who else loves these? Sean, one of our big men. Look Me? at him, he's so exciting. I said, I'm so excited. What do you want to talk about? He's like, the wipes, the, the wipes. wipes. <laughs> they are my favorite. One of my very favorite products at Beekman. I keep them everywhere. They're in my car, they're in my desk, they're in my bedside table, they're in my fridge, like Allison. And we even keep them in the studio too because believe it or not, we do sweat a lot. <laughs> you know, there's a ladder in there that we're up on a lot. And climbing. heavy equipment. Heavy and equipment and 
these are just so great for just a quick like, oh, I'm sweaty. I'm just gonna wipe down really quick. Mm. And it leaves you feeling so refreshed and soft. I, I love these. And I'm a huge advocate for SPF and mm -hmm. reapplying SPF. So they're really great to just get rid of anything that might be clogged in my pores before I reapply my SPF. That's a great point. Yeah. That's really good for like the summer when you're on the beach and you want to like like take off any sand or dirt or SPF that's been mm -hmm. on your face all day to reapply fresh SPF. And you know, I really love like this kit because we have a lot of ladies that enjoy Beacon 1802 products and know the goat milk difference and experience it in their own skin. So what I love about this kit is you can get it for the guy in your life and like then he can have his own products and he doesn't steal yours. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys are always stealing the ladies' products. Yes. <laughs> That's for sure. By the way, um, I know I'm not supposed to show this right now. Can I go a little rogue? Okay. Go for it. Um, if you want the candle set, I, if you want the six pack of the candles, um, I just want to let you know that six pack of candles, I have uh, less than 200 now available. So wow. Going fast. Watch how things dis disappear in the <laughs> blooming show. Um, should we talk about the whipped body cream? Yeah. Go. Uh, so the whipped body Brad. cream. So a lot of men do not like to use uh, moisturizers on their body, right? We can barely get them to use it on their face. And the reason why is because men's skin is oilier. A lot of traditional body creams kind of stay on the surface of the skin. They don't absorb and that just feels like gross. Like there's something still on your skin. Right. What makes our body cream different is the absorption. So you can see there in the demo that the goat milk inside really has the same pH as your skin, absorbs instantly into your skin. So you don't feel like, oh, there's something sitting on my surface of my skin. You don't notice it after it absorbs. Right. And it keeps your skin hydrated, which keeps it like better looking and healthier and stops the signs of aging from appearing. And here's the most important thing, I think going into the summer, we know winter is dry, right? We know winter can dry out your skin. It can really be hard on your skin. Mm -hmm. But I think this summer is the opposite in the sense that we're still drying out our skin. It's just in a different way. We're out in sun, we're out in wind, we're out in heat. Mm -hmm. um, we're in air conditioning, which dries out the air. If you've ever been in an air conditioner, you're like, you walk outside and it's super humid. Um, this is a beautiful way to get true hydration to your skin. It's not gonna leave your skin oily or tacky. That's what's so beautiful mm -hmm. about this moisturizer. And again, I keep saying about this kit, but if there's something in here you haven't tried, like the moisturizer, like the bar of soap, like the deodorant or the wipes. This is the single best way to get these products right now on Beekman, period. Um, I want you to talk about someone too special. How about your dad? Oh, yes. Uh, happy Let's Father's Day to my dad. Uh, yes, I think there's a picture of him somewhere. He's coming. Oh, he's coming. So, yes, I have a picture. Maybe we brought him to the studio live. Oh, yes, there he is. No, he's <laughs> that, that's from last week. I was just out in Florida visiting him recently. I hadn't seen him in a long time, but yeah, that's my dad. Look, he think? even took his glasses off. Yeah, sunglasses. Because we getting were being totally cool with in. our sunglasses. He was on. like, yeah. So you can see, I literally have, since it's a dad bod edition, I literally have dad bod because I have my dad's body. Uh, you know, we're kind of like very similar Listen, looking. he's a handsome guy. Yeah, he is a handsome guy. Yeah. Good, 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 great hair too. He's going to be 76. He looks pretty amazing. And then the other dad on there is my brother, Steve, who's an awesome dad with my nephews, Ronan and Rory. Uh, so happy Father's Day to both of them. Look at how great. Um, I, I love when you can look at your family and be so like highly respectful of your, you know what I'm saying? Like when you look at your dad, when you look at the people in your life and you're like, look how cool these guys are in my life. So I love that about your family. Oh, thank Do you, you want to talk about the shaving kit? Let's talk about the shaving okay, kit. Okay, if you're on the line for the job kit with a free, um, it's maxed out by the way, I can't make any more. I'll give you an update just a second. Um, a, oh wow, a ton of you are getting these and a ton of you are getting the buy one get one deodorant. Okay. Oh, look at you switching everything I'm out. Just kind of moving things around here. Oh, I love this about you. Okay, <laughs> so this next item is a shave kit. I have to do this one here. I'll do that one. I'll move it up. This is behind the scenes, real life. Yeah. Okay, this is something I asked for to be in the show because um, my better half, uh, my other half, he's not better, he's other, <laughs> is um, Jack. We call him Hot Jack here on the Bloomin' Show. Um, this is a kit that he, this is in my shower. I should show you a picture of this. It is the shave kit, which comes with the brush holder. It comes with the shaving um, little cup right here. It comes with the stand. It comes with a full size of the Dave's Worth shave bar. And it comes with, this is the only way to get the Dave's Worth bar of soap. This is all 
coming your way for $34. All of it and free shipping and handling, which is huge. Um, I don't have a ton of these to go around, so honestly, think out for Christmas. Think who you want to give these to. Mm -hmm. um, shaving. You know, shaving. as women, we don't think about it that often. We yeah. go in and we see aerosols and all kinds of things in the store. What do we need to know? Yeah, so shaving for guys, it really it, it causes trauma to your, your skin. So if you're not shaving properly, uh, you're not only increasing the signs and the risk of aging even faster because you're causing little micro damages right. every time you shave, um, but you know, you're significantly dehydrating your skin if you're shaving incorrectly. And a lot of that comes down to the formulas and the products that you're using with your razor. So right. again, it's time to like ditch those aerosol gels that have tons of chemicals in them. They're just full of like filler and ingredients and, and water essentially, uh, and check out a shave bar. So the shave bar is amazing. Well, the smell, tell me about the smell. It's so sexy. If you want to sex anybody up, if you like look at your husband, you're like, I don't know anymore, sex him up with it. I'm, is that weird? Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is the sexiest. It's Dave's for Well, you know, is that, yeah, like if you I look at your eye, like you're just like, I don't know. Like, like, is it, do I have a headache or do I give him yeah. a, a big shit? <laughs> I don't know where this stuff comes from. Oh it just God. comes. <laughs> So what that sexy smell is, is patchouli, uh, spicy nutmeg only, not like too strong oh. patchouli, and a little uh, orange peel extract. And I agree, it is like, it, it, it you smells just call amazing. It, sexy. it is sexy. a little sexy. And I think like sexy. the shaving with uh, a more old school brush is also sexy, you know, like instead of doing like a, a foaming aerosol with a crappy razor, if you have a beautiful razor, a beautiful yeah. brush, it's a, a great experience and a ritual in the morning that makes you, it's cool and it makes you feel sexy yourself. Okay, let's look at the reviews. You pick one, pick a, pick a review. Okay, I'm gonna go with Irwin. Uh, I purchased the shave, shave kit back in 2019 and I've been using it since. My skin feels great and I truly believe I'm getting the closest shave. It also seems to help prolong the life, the life of my razors. Think about that. I mean, that's crazy. And then also look at this. I purchased your shaving kit as a Christmas gift for my son-in-law. He loved it and he asked for the replacement soaps for the following Christmas. That's Judy. This is where, like when I gave Jack this kit, his eyes lit up. Mm -hmm. Like he was like, what a different way to shave my skin, a better way to shave my skin. So you're going to show how this works, but I want to remind you, you mm -hmm. get the shave bar of Dave's Ward. You get a full, this is what, this is what the, the scent that um, Jack uses. And it's honestly, this is the kit that if you really want to surprise them this year and fill them with a ton of joy, this is the way you're going to do it. So show them how they, they get it all yeah. shavy. So basically you just fill this shavy. little cup with water and then you take your brush and you know, unlike the traditional ones that like the, the aerosol lathers that are full of chemicals, you really create your own light lather and then you just apply it to your skin. So let's go head over yeah. because um, I think Sean has decided to um, shave Sean's head. <laughs> right? Are we going to shave I your head? I think it's time. I think we should go for it. shave Sean's head. I did leave the razor at home, Sean, so you're off oh, the yeah. okay. However, I did want to apply it so you can feel it on your right. skin. But mm. check out this amazing lather. You know, I feel like some people are afraid to use a shave bar because they're, they're not going to get that fluffy lather that you I would get with it. shaving cream. Yeah. Take a little Whoa. Bit. Isn't that nice? It's thick, it's rich, it's creamy, way better than what you get in the can. And now, Sean, if you don't mind, would you like to experience it on your face? I would love it on my face. Okay, so I have no idea how to do this. So if anyone's watching that's a barber at home, you swirl. Swirl and then swirl. down on, swirl? Don't you swirl on the face? Yeah. Come on, Brad. You swirl like either head direction. Out, head right? over and show, show her. Yeah, help. We're, yes. Barber Brad. Yeah, Barbara Brad, do it. I think she's doing it right, do you want me? Do you swirl? This, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> I took the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you, you swirl, but usually you actually start low. Oh. oh. This a is a Brad swirl. roll. Start and low and go high? Go up. Yeah, you do like little micro swirls, and then you go up. And what sure are you, you doing the for the skin at the same time when you're doing that? Uh, well, you're, you're helping like you? increase like the you know the, the circulation in your skin too. It's like a mini massage, you know, like when you get a facial, it helps this, I love your skin. So Sean, how does it feel? Feels well. great. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean's so that's like, I'm not sure that they've seen enough. Let's keep going. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so show the foam though. Show how smooth and creamy that mm. is. I love it. Um. Listen, if you guys are on the line, stay there. We want to make sure that you get it. Uh, can we, can we, 
Are we done with this? Or we got to go? Okay, we got to go. If you're on the line for the shave kit, stay there. We didn't talk about the bar of soap, but that's okay. It comes with it. It's like, you guys, 51% off that regular price. That's huge. So grab that. Same sexy smell. Oh, it's so sexy. And oh, only so available good. in that kit. Yeah, and it's also super sexy just to watch a man shave. I don't know what mm. that is, but like to see him do swirly things. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's move on. Uh, what are we going to do next? Just show me. I'll do. The oh, the bar. shave bars. Um, the shave bars. Are we spending time here? Are we just kind of mentioning this? Mm. Just a little. Okay. I'll mention. So here's what I want to tell you about the set of two of the shave bars. Um, this was actually asked for by all of you. You guys asked us to do the shave bars on their own because a lot of you wanted to refill the set that you got or maybe you wanted to introduce this to someone on the go. These come in these amazing wax um, covered boxes. So you can actually take these if you have someone that loves to play golf and they shower and shave before they come home, they can use this on their skin and they can go ahead and um, put it back in the box and take it with them. You get a bar pack of two of them, they're 25% off. So if you wanna grab them, that is the way to do that. We're not gonna have any more uh, presentation on that, but again, you get that great, creamy, smooth goat milk on there, which is fantastic. Okay, move on. Oof. Oh, no, no, no. I wanna show something, Sean. Oh. Can we show your dad? Oh, yeah. Let's I wanna show your dad. Where is he? Oh, there he is. That's Wait. John. John. <laughs> yeah. And he was the one that really got you inspired to do photography. He is. Uh, growing up, dad always had a camera around, taking photos of everything. And by everything, I mean everything. Um, you know, he has a complete catalog of our lives, pretty much. Um, so I tasked him with sourcing these. Um, <laughs> so he picked a couple of his favorites. You have great um, hair, Sean. Thank you. I, I got like best you've... hair in high school. Oh, really? I did. Best <laughs> hair in high school? I did. That's amazing. We, that is, that's a Justin Bieber. But see, people don't realize that Sean just shaved his hair. Um, off about a week ago. Yeah. How long was it before? Um, it was pretty long. It was a little was, longer than that. You Brad. could do man, yeah. man bunnish things. Almost, yeah. Almost man bun mm -hmm. things. Um, okay, so let's move on. Um, how are you doing? Good. In your first Bloom show. I love it. It's super fun. You danced. You sang a little bit. <laughs> Saw some dad bods. You, no. sad, you picked a dad bod. Mm. Is Michael going to be jealous? I don't know. If you picked I don't a think dad. so. He dances though. Maybe we should get him out here and do a little dancing. Oh, I see him. God, you would die. Maybe we should introduce him to your other half. Should we? Not this week, no. Oh, yes, maybe we should. Maybe he'll come out at the end and dance with us. Okay. Um, so I want to talk about the shampoo bars. These shampoo bars, they're a classic. They're a favorite. They sell out all the time on Beekman 1802. And if Jack is watching from home, my other half. Hot Jack. Hot Jack. He's going to say, what is she doing? This is his shampoo bar. I stole it from the shower before I came up here because I wanted to show you. This is what Hot Jack uses on his head. And I want you to look at the shape of this, you guys. Can you see the shape of it? It's actually <laughs> done in this indentation of where he rubs it on his head. Can you go? Can anyone come close? Or is it just we're not? Because i got to show you this. He... This set of three will last him a mm. year in the shower. That's how oh dense these are and how wonderful. But look at this. That's Jack's <laughs> head imprint on the bar of soap. That's I know amazing. Dr. Ben is laughing because I showed Dr. But that is his head. And he takes it. He goes, <laughs> woo, 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 woo. That's what he does in the shower. And he sings. And it depends what day, but it's usually some like... 80s classic rock. Amazing. You know, like I love that you can literally see the shape of his head going around. <laughs> he is at home soap. dying right now. He's like, <laughs> she hilarious. took my bar up. So, um, what's a shampoo bar? All right, so a shampoo bar uh, is another way to wash your hair. So just like you know, most people forget about the, that the scalp is actually part of your skin, right? You're just thinking about the hair, but there's, there's skin underneath there, and really a better way to wash your hair or an alternate way to wash your hair is to really clean that scalp. Because again, guys, scalps are oilier, oilier and we are not controlling that oil production. It doesn't just make your hair greasy, but that could actually lead to increased thinning hair and hair loss. That's kind of crazy. And I want you to think about this because you can take these on the go. So let me just show you this. This is how it starts. This is after Jack's head has been, but I just want to show you what, how long it lasts. These are all hand cut bars. Mm -hmm. You get three of them. They're in a set of three. Um, so this, and again, these will last Jack 
a year. Mm -hmm. He takes one with him when he goes to work out to the club. He has one in the wax box. He takes it with him. If you have shorter hair, these are fantastic. Josh loves these for his scalp, um, one of our founders. Um, and they really do, they're so effective. I love that, that yeah. you set on your scalp because you have to condition it. Um, we're going to toss things over to Miss Corinne because we got to see your dad with great hair. <laughs> I love that we chose to show my family photo for the hair because we have a lot of hair in the Hall family, <laughs> including my dad and my brothers. So here is a throwback <laughs> picture of me and my dad. The reason why I chose this is because this is like the, probably the last time that we were dressed up together. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's one of his only blazers, so he might wear that to my wedding uh, coming up. And then on the other picture, you see my three brothers, Roland, Adam, and Jared. Roland is Elena's dad, and Elena likes to watch, so I want to say hi to Elena, my niece, and of course my dad. I love my brothers, and happy Father's Day to my whole crew. The whole crew. The whole crew. The whole hall crew. <laughs> um, and, and by the way, Corinne is also going to be getting married, uh, so we might have a wedding special. Should we do a wedding special? I would love to do a wedding special. I know. Uh, listen, everybody, welcome on into the Bloomy Show. As we are kind of on the second half of this show, I wanted to introduce another beak man to you, someone behind the scenes that if you ever wonder who pulls the trigger when the time is off, when all that free shipping goes away, when all the checkout of the carts goes away, or when you see a new ad campaign come across or an email, that is Mr. Adam Bashiro, and I want to show him to you, be, let you, you know, really introduce you to him, because he is one of the top men in the Beekman team, but he also is the original uh, sort of Beek dad, because his daughter Ava, who is two and a half, um, you saw her in a lot of the, she's the original Beek baby, the um, little baby Beekman, um, you saw her in all kinds of our uh, early days of Beekman, and she is now two and a half. They also have a brand new little addition, Asher, to the family. <gasps> I, I hear, I hear, I hear everybody. Can, Ava? Okay, so, but let's do this. Let's take a little look at their intro video, and then I'll introduce them to you in person. Can I have more, Eva? Can you please do more my face? Uh, so let's introduce um, Adam and Ava to you. Um, zooming in, because as a busy dad, we can't get him here in the studio. Ha Hi, Ava! Oh! <laughs> Ava! How are you? Hey, Tell them how you're doing. Oh, how are you, Adam? I'm doing well. Looks how are you like guys all doing? Looks like you a little bit of the charcoal scrub put on. What'd you put on Daddy's face? <laughs> Some charcoal scrub. Charcoal scrub. There you the go. Charcoal scrub. Your fingers? Hey, Adam. You are. A lot of people always say, like, who pulls the trigger on all the electronic and all the emails and all the digital stuff? That's you. So. Um, you are the man with the big red button behind the scenes. I am. It's a, it's a fun job. Uh, for better or worse, if anything breaks, you can blame me. If anything works, then you can also blame me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're a busy dad because you have Eva. She was the, one of the original like models when we were just starting out, right? She was. She was the original Beekman baby. Uh, a few years ago when we launched the baby line of I'm not sure if everyone remembers the tub scene, but uh, she was the baby in the tub. A lot smaller then, but uh, much less personality, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ava, can I ask a question? Can I ask you a question? How old do you think your dad is? How old is daddy? How old is daddy? Two. Two. <laughs> you're two? That's it. Yeah, I think you're right. You look great. Pretty close. Okay, Ava. Uh, I know you have a lot of charcoal white. <laughs> uh, Ava, who's your favorite princess of all? Uh, Laura. 
Aurora. Oh, I love that. So, um, uh, Adam, yeah. I want you to look at, I don't know if you have a screen that you can look at, or maybe down in your phone, I... we're going to text it to you. But um, we got a picture from your wife, Aisha, and she wants to know how you can find a shirt um, to hold all of those dad bod muscles in. I know, that was a long time ago. I think I know the picture you're talking about. There so you are. <laughs> so, I can't see it, but I presume it's that one. <laughs> so when my biggest problem was do my muscles make uh, look small in this shirt, that's pretty mm. funny. How old is that picture? Oh, I had just met Aisha probably about two months before that picture. It was obviously the muscles. Adam, you're so very handsy that. there, Adam. You're like already hugging and everything, Aisha. Did you? Just... Aisha's a little handsy. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I know that you have days for soap then in your house. Let's talk about that. Um, how how is it being a busy dad? You run all of that digital at Beacon, but how are you finding taking care of yourself? Uh. I, I find the time. Uh, so Ava's obviously two and a half. We have a newborn here that's also eight weeks. Um, <laughs> we'll put shower time and uh, the end of the night is, is the most important time. I obviously have the mask on. I use it uh, daily. Well, it's the charcoal scrub. Uh, I use a pre-shave right out of the shower um, and it always works. And then bloom cream is my finishing my finishing touch and makes the skin so silky smooth. So. Uh, that's my routine. Ava, what's your routine? What's your skincare routine? Uh, red. Red. Red lipstick. <laughs> red. Now, where do you put the red at, Ava? Where's your favorite place to put on your lips? In your lips. Oh, yeah. Keep giving Dad his facial. Okay. That looks I think great. this is spot right here. Right here. There you go. Ava, do you like the bloom cream? Do you like the bloom cream? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, thank you, Adam and Ava and Aisha Bye. and Asher Bye. and everybody. Bye. Bye. Kisses, blood kisses. Bye. Oh my gosh. We cut Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for keeping up after bedtime. We know that's a lot. Listen, if you want the charcoal scrub, um, should we bring Brad back in? Come on, Brad, Brad in. Oh, you have to get your mic back on to be fancy. Um, so a couple different things I need to, to mention really quickly. If you want the charcoal scrub, great exfoliation. Um, we only have about 100 or so of those to go around. So if you want to grab that, I would do that. I do want to make quick mention of the candles. I know we're going to play another game really quickly. I'm not 100% sure about this game that you're going to play. But if you want the candles, that six pack is on its way to a complete sellout. So if you want that one. Um, okay, Brad. All right. So you said you want to put me. Put us I just wanted to make sure that you were paying attention today. Uh, that's all. So I just have a few questions for you. Okay. Uh, it's a true or false game. Okay. Yeah. You jump true right into the game. True yeah, or yeah. false. Yes. And I want people at home to see if, yeah. how, what they know too. Let's yes, see what please, people know. Yes. Uh, please feel free to participate. Okay. All right. True or false? It's okay to skip a day in my skincare routine. Oh, I, I'm going to say false. You're correct. Oh, you, you shouldn't skip a day, especially when it comes to like brushing your teeth and using deodorant, of course, but even when it comes to cleansing and moisturizing. As I said, cleansing is the number one thing you should do. So if you're going to do anything, wash your face with water. Wash it. Water. Yeah. Just wash it. Do you wash your face. Um, okay, All right. What's the next number one? two, women, women's skin is oilier than men's skin. Okay. What do you guys think at home? Were you paying attention? Oh, you have a Brad rule that we didn't even get to. So you'll have to tell oh, me. That next. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yes. Men's skin is oilier than women's. It went, yes, correct. Men's so that skin was is, false. That, yes, that was false. Men's skin is thicker and oilier. It has 20% more oil than women's Can skin. Can you give them your Brad rule? Oh, yeah, my Brad rule. Oh, it goes well, go well with the charcoal scrub. Okay. So my rule, the number one thing to, to, that you should always do is wash your face. If you don't use serums and moisturizers, that's okay. And, you, of course, add them. But when you're washing, everyone washes their face wrong. So the rule is warm on cool off. Use warm water so it opens your pores, gets out all that gunk, just like when you're washing dishes, right? You need oil to break through that grease. And then when you're done, switch the tap, put on the cool water because that actually closes your pores and makes your skin look tighter and more thin. <laughs> People yeah. are going to be at home tonight, like husbands and wives, and you're going to hear the wives in the bathroom being like, Brad told me, warm on, cool off. And the husband's warm going to be on, like, what? Cool off. <laughs> Who's Brad, honey? What, what just happened? <laughs> and just give him a Give them a, uh, you know, a bar of uh, days worth. Okay, next yeah. one. Uh, oh, next one. Okay. Next one. Men's prone is, men's skin is pr more prone to wrinkles. True or false? 
Okay, you can answer online too, because I'm seeing the poll come up and you can answer if there's a poll online. I have to say this is a trick question. Perhaps, yes. But the answer for what I learned tonight is true? Yes. False. Well, Why do you look like you don't know? I, I, well, I do know. Just okay. like, it is a trick question because in the end, over, we all start at the same point, right? But then in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, men age much faster. And then when, again, when remember the jumping off the cliff? Yeah. When, 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 when women hit menopause, menopause, their skin goes off, a little, bit, off a little bit of a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> That was really funny because it actually is true. <laughs> 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 Don't make me start that because I won't be able to stop. That was so funny. Okay, now yeah. last question. Okay. Okay, true or false? Can I use body wash on my face? Okay, what does everybody think at home? Okay, now I, my answer is false. I mean, technically you can, you but you should not. No. I mean, I think like there's a couple of things. One, it's formulated for your body, which you know is less sensitive than your face. So there's a lot more ingredients in there. They have a lot more fragrance in there. Uh, the one thing I will say is that the Beekman Body Bar is one body product that is safe enough to use on your face. There's no fragrance and it's got great lather. And also the number one thing that guys do wrong is not just the washing their face mm -hmm. without using the hot and the cool, mm -hmm. but washing it too hard. There's, for some reason it's like there's this desire to like strip everything off your face and get that like squeaky clean. No, 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 no. It's not good for your skin. It actually strips it of some of the oils that it needs. So when you wash your face, just do it gently in a circular motion. Yeah. So if you see your husband or son like diving in, just say, Brad says no, honey. Just go in lightly. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Is there another one? I think that was it. Was is there, there another one, one? more? Oh, there is one more. There's one Sorry. More. <laughs> That's all right. True or false? Men are, oh yes, this one's important. Men are more likely to get melanoma than women. That's true. It is true. Now, I mean, this is really huge, you guys. Listen yeah. to this. This is why the milk primer is important in all this. Yeah. I did not know that men were more likely to get a melanoma. Yeah. It's both biological and behavioral. Like biologically, because their skin is thicker and it has more creases, it's more likely to form melanoma. But what's even more important is behaviorally, right? Guys are out in the sun more and they don't like to wear sunscreen. Women mm -hmm. are more used to having makeup products or things with sunscreen. So number one, not meant to scare you, but they're twice as likely to, to get melanoma. And it's the number one cause of cancer at certain ages that men can get. So yeah. wear your sunscreen. That's the key message here. And um, so take a look if you want the activated charcoal scrub. Um, this is Josh's very favorite product. He's probably watching saying, why aren't we talking about it? Um, oh, everyone's saying that they love getting all the information from you, Brad. Oh, that's great. So we love having you here. Um, listen, when we talk about exfoliation, and I know that we're a little bit out of time, do you mind if we just keep talking a little bit? Okay. I know we're at, we actually are breaking our one hour rule oh, right now because you're thanks. so interesting. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about why we need to exfoliate and why that's so important. Yeah. So, especially with men's thicker skin, as, as your skin continues to grow, right, your skin is a living organ, uh, you need to kind of slough off the skin to really let your pores breathe and to get smoother skin. And for men especially, since we have facial hair, uh, we really need to get in there and get around the facial hair follicles uh, or you're going to get ingrown hairs. And I know every guy who's watching has probably experienced an ingrown hair. They're painful. They turn out like horrible looking. They're a big bump. They look like you have a big pimple on your face. Uh, so you don't have to use a scrub every day, but I would recommend using it two to three times a week to get that extra sloughing off of the dead skin cells and to stop ingrown hairs. And what I really like about this charcoal scrub is you saw me put it on. It's got a little bit of a jelly sort of te uh, texture to it. And that actually is all the fruit acids mm -hmm. helping to break down all of that dead skin on your body. So yeah. there it is. If you want the charcoal, that's the way you're going to grab it. How are we doing? Or do I need to move on? I know we're out of time, but can I keep talking or are we wrapping it up? Okay. Can I talk just really quickly about the buy one, get one? Is that okay? Okay. Here's the big, big news for the night. Okay, you grab oh. one, I grab one. Got it. I need a towel for a wipe. Oh, don't mind those candles I just knocked over. <laughs> Anybody, don't worry about that. It's okay. Hold on. Okay, I gotta talk about this really okay. quickly because this is flying out of here. We have the buy one, get one free in the deodorant tonight. If you have not picked the deodorant up, if you're a fan of the deodorant and you're like, I'm all on board, I was just looking at these and I think almost half of the quantity that we have of these is completely gone. So if you're on the line for the buy one, get one deodorant, holy cow, you guys are shopping for this tonight. Um, give us like the one or two sentences of why this is so important. 
super easy because most natural deodorants that don't have aluminum or baking soda don't work and you'll end up smelling. Ours does and it smells amazing as well. And we're talking about a natural deodorant that mm -hmm. is super effective and that it really, really works. If you're on the line for this, you can pick up as many as you mm -hmm. want to. The free shipping is only good for this hour. It is basically a buy one, get one. So please stay on the line for this. Um, come on over, everybody. Let's kind of wrap things up. I know we're going a little bit over, and that's okay. A couple things I want to talk about, wherever you guys want to come in. Um, so number one, uh, I want to remind them of the pride, but before I do that, I, I promised you guys tonight that we would be launching something, a huge initiative, and I think that it's super important for us to do this here in the Bloomin' Show, is that we believe in putting our money where our mouth is, and that is the kindness grants. These are super, oh, Corinne, you have to get over there. Right. We're going to operate the computer. <laughs> so we are launching this right now, right here. And what we're going to ask you to do is to start a ripple effect of kindness in your community. We want you, we are going to be offering money grants to those of you that want to spread kindness. So here's all you have to do is you get started, you go onto our kindness grants page and you click down on it, you're gonna see a form. But all you have to do is come up with an idea. Maybe it's a classroom in need. Maybe it is a senior um, transportation program. Maybe it's helping someone with a food drive or a food bank or whatever it is. Something that's gonna create that ripple of kindness affecting your community. Fill out the form. Josh and Branch are gonna be reviewing these and we're gonna pick people every single month that are gonna get money to actually contribute to do and create this, this event in their community. So we're gonna be featuring those people uh, in the Blooming Show every week as well. And don't worry, if you don't get picked one month, your, your you know, entry is still gonna be valid. Um, it'll still be in there, but we wanted to launch that here with everyone. Um, I wanna take one quick second to thank everybody. I know we gotta go, but Corinne Hall, product expert, you know, or behind the scenes at Beacon. Ah, thanks, um, guys. Thank some you. Some of our original Beak men. Um, Sean, who is our photographer, uh, a, a great foodie. Yeah. And then Team Beatman right here is led by Brad Farrell, who is our CMO. He's also just a really talented and amazing and interesting guy. Awesome. And then there's me, who um, likes to drink out of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Alex. On way out, I do want to show you a lot of photos that were submitted from Team Beekman, and these are a lot of our team members and their dads. So stay on the line, free shipping, click checkout, and make sure you grab one of your favorite and all of your favorite items. Thanks, guys. Yay! Yay!